attack button to attack. I'm sorry, am I going too fast for you? There are actually two attack buttons. Try using the other one on this set of guys. You see, enemies will block different moves. So experiment with the two attack buttons to find it. Man, you sure do get hit a lot. You know, there's a handy dodge button you can... Hey, see that icon? Yeah, the attack button icon that appears when you're dodging? That means you can counterattack. Yeah! Hit the attack button when it shows up to hit your opponent back. By the way, counterattacks are unblockable. I consider myself a fine judge of talent boy, and, well, you don't have much. But look, I'll work with you. For the next few sets of enemies, I want you to follow the instructions on your screen. Perform all the moves listed to move on. Not bad, not bad. Keep it up. Hey, you're getting the hang of this. That wasn't too shabby. Okay, now stop messing around. Go find out who is blowing up this building and save the day. I'll even open the door for you. Uh, you need to go up. You gotta take care of those bombs. Just crawl up the wall. Oh, this icon here means that you can perform a web interaction. Hold down the web button to web this thing up. Experiment with web attacks and you might even find new ones. For instance, here you can spin guys around. Use the sprint button for extra speed. If I could pull down one of those pipes, I bet the water would douse the fire. Once you've jumped into the air, you can press the jump button again to double jump. Jump higher by holding down the jump button longer. Get it? Higher, longer. Hold it down long enough, and you can probably leap small buildings in a single bound. I mean, you're not quite as impressive as that other guy, are you? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you have a lovely personality. Okay now, get ready. You're about to perform a heroic feat of agility and speed, but don't let it go to your head, okay? You do this stuff all the time. Sometimes you have to react to a situation faster than a normal person can. Good thing you're a superhero, huh? Yeah, so when a big button prompt appears on the screen, press it. Help! Please! Someone! Fasten your seatbelt. It's gonna be a bumpy ride! Thanks for flying Air Spidey. Just another day in the life of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Lately, things have been going my way. 
I got the girl, and New York finally likes me. Not that there aren't problems. Like this new guy, Eddie Brock at the Daily Bugle. He's really starting to get on my nerves. And Harry, my best friend, won't talk to me. On top of that, new gangs have moved in and they're dividing up the city. Still, it's nothing I can't handle. One weird thing, there haven't been any big supervillains around since Doc Ock. But I have this bad feeling like the sky is gonna fall or something. And soon. Pressing the swing button will shoot out a web line that you can swing from. Then, hold down on the swing button to hold on to your web line. Now the trick with swinging is that you need something to swing from. That's right, you can't just swing from empty space. You're not that good yet. So make sure that there's a building or something nearby when you want to swing. Got it? Good. Hey, see that little marker on the screen? That sucker is letting you know about something. You can use the left stick to aim your web line. If you want to go left, push left. You want to go right, well, you get the idea. Push the stick in the direction you want to go. Now if you want to go faster down the street, try boosting near the bottom of your swing arm. This will propel you forward. If you want to gain a little bit of height, try boosting near the end of your swing arm. Swinging is hard, I know, I've done it myself, but it just takes some practice and then you'll be swinging like a pro, so keep at it. Oh, and watch out for buildings. To navigate this grand old city, now, there are lots, once you've found a mission you'd like to try, you can push this button to mark it. Then when you leave the zoom map, an indicator will be on screen that will show you how to find that marker. Okay, that's the zoom map. It's a handy feature, so if you're not sure what to do next, remember you can look up your options. Now get out into that city and do your thing. 